This lab is Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol, or VRRP. This is the first hop redundancy protocol similar to HSRP. Uh, the only difference is in uh, some of the configuration, as well as the um, fact that it's used typically with uh, things like firewalls and load balancers for failover purposes. What I've got here is uh, topology with three routers and a switch. R1 is going to be configured as the master of uh, VRP router and the standby or backup is going to be R2. They're both connected to an internet router, INET1. There's also a switch one and that's connected to a host to do some testing. And there's uplinks from the switch one to R1 and R2. Gig 0, 0, 0, 001 and 02 are all in the same subnet. I'm using a slash 29 mass since there's only uh, three IP addresses. I'm going to configure R1 as the VRRP master and enable MD5 authentication. Then I'll configure R2 as the VRRP backup and enable MD5 authentication. I'm also going to configure interface tracking of Gig00 and 01 on uh, both routers. Then I'm going to verify RRP is working correctly and uh, do a ping and some failover testing. So I'm going to start with R1. And here I've got these track commands. This is similar to what uh, was configured with HSRP. Track 1 interface Gig01 line protocol, and Track 2 is going to monitor Gig00 line protocol. If either interface goes down, the priority will be decremented by uh, 20. We've got here Gig00, that's the link to the internet router, INET1, and that's in the 172.16.2 subnet. That's right there, 172.16.2. Gig01 is the link to switch one. That's this link here, 01 to the switch. That's assigned 172.16.1.2 slash 29. VRRP is converted right on the physical interface here. I've got IP 172.16.1.1 for the virtual IP, and I've got priority 110. The default for VRRP, similar to HSRP, is 100. This will make it the master router. I've also got authentication MD5 keystring CCMP exam. That will configure MD5 authentication of VRP messages. Then there's track 1 and track 2 to monitor the physical interfaces, and when they go down, the priority will be decremented by 20. So I've got the virtual IP 172.16.1.1, and this is 172.16.1.2, and 172.16.1.3, all in VLAN 10. And now we'll go to R2. About the same track demands, track 1 and track 2, they're the numbers. Track 1 is monitoring Gig01, and Track 2 is monitoring Gig00. I also have Gig00, that's the link to the internet router, INET1. That's 172.16.3.1 subnet. It's this one over here, between R2 and INET1. And I've also got the link to Switch1, that's mm -hmm. Gig01, IP address 172.16.1.3.29. And the VRP commands, this is in group one as well. You notice they all have a one, that's group one. IP 172.16.1.1, that's the same uh, virtual IP as on the active router. I've also got authentication MD5 in the same key string. They have to match. And I've also got the track one and track two uh, decrement commands. And also note the VRP, if you use timers, you want to change them, they all have to match on the routers. That's not the same as the HSRP where they don't have to match. Now I'm going to run some verify commands. So what R1? So gig01. So this is the R1 gig01. That's the one right there. 172.16.1.2. And it's group 1. They're, they're all group 1. State is master. So that's good. Virtual IP is 172.16.1.1. And there's the virtual MAC address they're sharing as well. Advertisement interval is one second. That's a default. Preemption enabled. Priority is 110. And the tracking is uh, configured correctly. And authentication MD5 is uh, active. Master router is 172.16.1.2. That's local. Priority 110. So that's fine. Everything's good there. And there's the uh, bottom there is just the uh, timers. Now we'll go to R2. And same command.
And this is uh, part two, gig zero one. So gig zero one, group one, same one, state is backup, yeah. And virtual IP address, 172.16.1.1, that's correct. There's the virtual MAC address, that's the same. Timers match at one second. Preemption enabled, priority is 100. And there's the tracking commands active. Authentication is uh, there. Master router is 172.16.1.2 with priority 110, yeah. And then there's the timers at the bottom there. So now I'm gonna send a ping from the host. Verify it's working, what the path is. Let's go to console here. All I'm doing is uh, pinging the uh, loopback. Well, that's working. Hey, ping 192.168.2551. So everything works fine there. 192.168.2551. So that's good. I'll do a trace. That's good. 172.16.1.2 and 172.16.2.2. So 172.16.1.2. So it's taking the path from switch to R1 and R1 to INET. And for INET, I'll just verify the IP address. Gig 00 is 172.16.2.2. So that's gig 00. That's 172.16.2.2. So that is correct so far. There's also another command. It's called show track. Here, track one, interface gig zero one. Line protocol is up. Track by VRP. And there's track two. So this will give you information on the tracking commands to make sure they're correct. I'm going to test failover. So we'll go to R1. there the state change what I've done is I've uh, done a shot on gig zero one on R1 so there's R1 gig zero one that's shut so state chain gig zero one group one state master to down so it's changing state there go to R2 state change state backup to master So notice now I'm on R2 here, state is master, and uh, now I'll do a ping. Great, it's working. I'll just do a trace as well. So it's going 172.16.13 and 172.16.32. So 172.16.13. And 172.16.32. Go back to INET. 172.16.32, that's gig 01. Gig 01, INET 1, that's it. So that's working fine. It uh, does the failover properly and uh, shows you the state change as well. And that concludes the lab.